de los Muertos. Days back to pre-Columbian times. The people of Mesoamerica commemorated their dead. However, when the Spanish conquistadors arrived to the Americas, they brought with them a new perspective of life. That perspective was Christianity. During that time period, the traditions from both worlds blended and created ones that are celebrated today throughout Latin America. Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, a day where we commemorate those we love and those we once cherished here on Earth. A day full of culture, pride, music, altars, danza, pan de muerto. A day to remember and reflect. Life, death, our human nature, the way we live. There's a saying, ahora estoy, mañana no lo sabré. We are here today, but we don't know tomorrow. We welcome you to our spiritual conquest through the day of the dead. My name is Angel Perez. Hi, and I am Steve Ojeda, and this is Dead But Not, not Regarded. The origins of the celebration date back to Mesoamerican traditions and beliefs that referred to the underworld or the deceased. During the Aztec reign, festivities that were ritually presided by Mixtecasihuatl or the Lady of the Dead occurred during the late summer. After the Spanish took control in 1521, the priest moved this Aztec ritual period to November to match the church celebration of All Saints and All Souls Day. The first day is generally a religious holiday celebrated to remember the little souls who have passed away. Meanwhile, the second day is known as All Souls Day, a memorial event where people visit cemeteries carrying flowers and candles. During the festivities, there is also singing, dancing, and a beautiful night filled with joy and communal unity of both dead and alive. There is art expressed through paintings, sculpture, photographs of skulls, death, and the rich Mexican culture. Growing up, I never knew what Dia de los Muertos was. Like, what I would just think about was just people dressing up in outfits and costumes. And honestly, like, based on the media, what I think Dia de los Muertos, like, has always been is just people dressing up in costumes. And so uh, I heard that it's a way to just scare off the, scare off the bad spirits and then just celebrating the, the loved ones that passed away in a positive way. But that's how I honestly, like, see Dia de los, Dia de los Muertos. On my mother's side, we said we're Catholic. So we celebrate, it's always quiet always quiet remembrance, little speeches, a little thing, and then after that we watch the burial and then we go about our day having a repast. On my father's side, it's different because they're Baptist. Everything is like a huge celebration. Everyone is, is like screaming, throwing their hands up in the air. It's all lively because it's more of a celebration of the person's life instead of having to mourn it. So I would say I'm kind of thankful that I'm in this kind of situation. I've seen both sides of how we commemorate our dead. And I think I've become more accustomed to the Catholic side, mainly because that's the way I've grown up. I've grown Catholic, I've gone to Catholic schools all my life. So I just, I would commemorate the dead quietly and just more silently. Maybe say a few speeches and then 
let what the heart have us do. My exposure to Dios de los Muertos is definitely, there's definitely a culture of it in Santa Cruz and so I have a lot of friends who are involved in it that I, I've participated with over the years through Nocturnal Sunshine and through family friends. I connect with Dia de los Muertos just being in California and being a part of a Hispanic culture that's blended you know, from Southern California up to Northern California and um, definitely believing that this time of year is when the veil is thinnest between the worlds and being able to connect and honor the dead and remember them and it's really beautiful to put them on altars and remember their faces and have dance with them. More in like a European culture, it's celebrated on their birthday or the day that they die is when you go to the cemetery and put flowers and remember them. We always put altars in our house, you know, put photos of those of my grandparents that have passed away or also some of our like pets that have also passed away or some also, I also put, I have sometimes some in my room, I like my favorite singers that inspire me to do what I'm doing now. I love mariachi music. Whenever I hear it, I get goosebumps. <laughs> it's just really where I am and my passion where I can be who I want to be and who can identify myself and my culture. Hay colomitos inolvidables, inolvidables como la tarde en que la lluvia nos de la loma no nos dejaba ir ni a Zapopan. I'm the daughter of two Mexican immigrants, so I consider myself Mexican American. And um, my parents are actually from the north of Mexico, so they don't actually really celebrate Day of the Dead in the popular sense that we see now with the altares and the calaveras. Um, the northern tradition, it's more about just um, like cleaning up the graves, nothing special. But um, it's funny because um, my parents are just like baffled by my interest in like the more popular southern and central way of celebrating it because, um, you know, um, I actually did this again like a couple of years back and my dad would just say things oh, like in the north we don't celebrate like that, we don't celebrate like that because you know it's, I understand because it's the north so it's much more um, westernized, Americanized but um, like I just, I just fell in love with um, the whole philosophy of the central way of celebrating Dia de los Muertos, um, this whole idea of celebrating life and death rather than trying to deny death or fear it or try to run away from it. It's more of an accepting of the cycles of life and how things change. Dia de los Muertos for me is just that, you know, dedicating that one day completely to them, to their memory, to who they were. And, you know, I do get very emotional, sentimental, especially for the fact that, you know, I, I always go and, 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 and think about you know, the what ifs. What if they were still here today? Um, you know, what What if they were able to see me, to see all that I've accomplished? Um, even when I didn't think that I could, you know, accomplish a lot of things, would they be proud of me? Are they proud of me? Um, you know, all, all these things, and, and especially a lot of my own life experiences, personal experiences that you know, that I, I wish they were here. I wish they were here um, to, to go and, and, and live those experiences alongside me. But I know that, that they're always by my side and that, you know, they're out there taking care of me and I can feel their presence. In order to get more insight of the traditional day, Dia de los Muertos, we went to investigate inside the religious department of Santa Clara University. Hola, profesora Pineda. ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. ¿Qué tal, Angel? 
El Día de los Muertos has become a very important uh, festivity in the United States, but it comes among Latino, but it comes from a blend of the of the indigenous reality and the Catholic Spanish reality. So it starts in the indigenous culture where they had this belief that life and death were the same reality and that life was like a dream. And when you awoke from that dream, you you found yourself in the in the world of the dead, uh, which was the underworld, and that's where the, the souls went or the spirits went. And then you have Catholicism, where they believed in um, death and uh, going to heaven. And those two customs combined and became what we know today as the celebration of Day of the Dead in Mexico, Latin America, and here in the United States. Culture itself, it uh, covers many aspects. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them you just mentioned too, you know, which is the danza, the dance, and uh, the cantos, the singing. Uh, so when, when we do or celebrate something or, or traditional or ritual calendar, uh, such as Dia de los Muertos, uh, it goes pretty much related. You know, the, uh, the dance by bringing the, the life, you know, the joy, um, as Quetzalcoatl, and uh, the singing by bringing the, uh, the feeling, the sentimiento. Uh, when we sing to our dead, uh, it's, it's like when you uh, put all the oil out there with all the different foods and, and the different uh, pan de muerto or, or friend, ofrendas, that's how we call them, uh, to, to welcome our, our dead. You know, and uh, celebrate them that way. In the ofrenda, it could be offering a food uh, or flowers or an, an item that was special to the person that you're remembering or recalling, like uh, fruit, for example, or Coca Cola or something that they enjoyed. But it also can be uh, children's toys. If you're remembering someone who has died of a child, mm -hmm. that can also be part of the ofrenda, and it's an offering to them. Of welcoming them back to the world of the living and to the family on that particular day. El trabajo de nosotros como danzantes, como como este seguidores de esta cultura, de estas tradiciones, es uh, recordar, recordar a nuestros ancestros, recordándolos de esa manera, este ya que pues nos, lo que nos dejaron fueron sus enseñanzas. So en esencia, su cuerpo ya no está con nosotros pero su espíritu y sus enseñanzas sí están. Entonces, por eso que es muy importante no dejar morir y, y es así como nosotros este, llevamos a cabo el Día de los Muertos. ¿no? A los cuatro vientos que nos permite estar una vez más, un año más con vida y estando festejando y recordando a nuestros benditos muertos. ¡Que vivan los muertos! ¡Que vivan! Van a vivir siempre en nuestros corazones en nuestra memoria y en nuestras tradiciones, tal y como lo estamos haciendo al día de hoy. Muchísimas gracias a todos y cada uno de ustedes que con ese amor y corazón vienen para recordar a sus fieles difuntos. En este día estamos de fiesta porque estamos festejando la muerte. ¿Para qué? Para que precisamente nuestra muerte nos dé una larga vida. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí. I would imagine that among the diverse indigenous uh, groups that there was some form of venerating the dead and what I have uh, learned is more from the area of Mexico mm -hmm. and so there's this interesting uh, combination where at uh, the day of the dead they believed that the spirits could come to visit the world of the living to come and visit the relatives they had left behind, and that was during the harvest time. Uh, we uh, we dance, you know, our traditional regalias. Uh, we dance and uh, we offering damos esa ofrenda de danza because in our way there is many people that 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 die and that people that they used to dance when they were alive. Uh, Nosotros les llamamos ánimas. So, 
because we are dancers, that's how we are related, you know, to give that offering of dance. Because personally, when I die, I would like, you know, to, to, you know, to be remembered as a danzante, and it will be an honor, you know, if I see my children dance in my memory. The big difference between a Latino's attitude toward death and maybe a non-Latino is that for us, it's a regular part of life. It's not so extreme. Uh, we, we talk about dreams we've had with those who have died. We tell stories about those who have died. We tell jokes about those who have died. And in, in that way, we befriend death. Death becomes like a friend or a companion. Uh, but in other cultures, it's frightening. You know, we don't want to think about it. So a way of not thinking about it is not to talk about it, is not to take one's family members or children to the mortuary for a vigil, uh, because we think it's going to cause children trauma. But there's a way of helping children understand that this person was important in our lives. They have died. We have come to pay our respect. We want to show our love. We're uh, accompanying um, each, each other. We're loving each other. So there's a very different attitude. So I think that's one of the reasons why in the United States, among some groups, death is not something we want to talk about. Día de los muertos es volver a la vida. Recordando. Respect. Remembering your loved ones that passed away. Un culto a nuestros seres queridos que ya se han ido. Honor. Connected. Cultura. Celebrating life. Honor. Celebrando. Remembering. Nuestra raíz. Family. Flores. Sacred. Culture. Honor. Skeletons. Muerte.